Hello there, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to create the perfect landing page in HubSpot 2024. So right now, I'm currently inside HubSpot, and the thing I used here is a dummy Gmail account. Because by default, you can use your dummy Google account and create a free landing page totally for free. And the thing is, once you're on the landing page, I want you to click on marketing. Go on landing pages right there, and you'll load up this option. So by default, if you have a free account, much as the one I'm using right now, it doesn't show here anymore, but there is a limit of 20 landing pages available for creation for free trial accounts, or rather for non-subscription accounts. So please take note about that one. So let's get started. So one thing you want to take note of is that do not click on this option that says get started. This is one of the marketing techniques of HubSpot. Because if you click on this one, they will ask for your credentials, card info, and then they will ask you to upgrade to the paid version. So I suggest looking on the top right section that says create. So click on it right now and choose landing page. So once we're here, I suggest naming it. Let's just say landing page sample. Like so. So create page and I'll see you once inside. So after selecting the title of your landing page, you'll arrive on this choose template. There are hundreds of templates to work with. For example, this one right here is pretty awesome. Also this one right here. So there's an option that before selecting a template, you can preview it. For example, I'm going to preview this one, the Compass Schedule Consultation. I'm going to click on it right now. So this is how it should look like inside. This is basically the template or outline if you choose this exact template. For example, I'm satisfied with this preview. I can simply go back and select Use Template or go directly on this option that says Use Template on the right top corner. By the way, before you click Use Template, there are tools here. For example, you want to see how it looks like for tablet. How about for phone or mobile devices? It's pretty helpful, especially if you want to see how it looks like. So Use Template button right there and I'll see you on the next slide. So welcome back to the video. Here we have it. We're currently inside the editing platform of um, HubSpot. So this is the onboarding. So we don't need this as of now because you have me. So first thing I want you to take note of is that this is quite overwhelming. I know there's a lot of things going on here. So please take it slow and then just follow these tools and steps I'm going to give you. Again, it is not that complicated. First thing I want you to do is that check the mobile version. So right now it became not that overwhelming because there isn't that much happening right now. But if you go back to the PC's um, view, it came back on the overwhelming part, right? Anyway, moving on on the left side, you'll have a lot of tools to work with. Much like Canva, the tools are on the left side. We have contents, we have add option right there. We have that thing that calls optimize. We have tests, site navigator, and design. So with that being said, let's have some fun here. We also have file right there. You can clone delete. Actually, these options right here in the top sections are fairly new. Before we don't have these options where you can edit on the top section, the view option, settings, and help. So you will notice here that if you select one section, automatically you'll open up the left settings. If I remove it, it will close down. So that is pretty helpful. So for example, I'm gonna um, utilize or navigate the header. So once I click on it, you'll see the logos right there. That sucks, the width, the height, the image loading, like there, the link URL. So here's the thing. If you change something here, it will react real time. I'm gonna type in sample logo right there. And then with that being said, with this one, this is now sample logo. However, it is not going to display the sample logo literally because we have that logo photo. But if you hover your mouse inside it, there we have it, the compass logo right there. So for discussion purposes, I'm going to replace this one. Give me a second here. I'm going to insert an image from my PC. This is how you replace your logo. I'm going to use this one right here. It's a photo that I got from Midjourney, and choose it right now. 
just for discussion purposes, right? And there we have it. We can simply move it. We can save it as it is. And basically with that, I can just name it logo right there. We can adjust the height like so, as you can see right now, when I decrease it, they're simultaneously being decreased. The height and the width is now simultaneously being decreased. For example, I want to put this on 200. The width is also 200 with no problem at all. You can also override the default logo, but that will be a different um, video for this. The fun thing about this one is the one they call link URL. So hyperlinking and link URL are basically the same. So for this one, for example, let's just put facebook.com and then you're going to have an option to open link in new tab if they click your logo. So you have those um, ads. If you're familiar with advertisements in Facebook, TikTok, YouTube, this is the same thing. If you accidentally click my logo right here, you'll be directed on Facebook. That's the idea. So second section, the styles. You have visibility. You can change it. Alignment. Of course, background is there. Border right there. So each section right here, we have two um, subsection rather. So moving on, let's try using this modules. I'm going to look for a module here that says Facebook. There we have it. So if I highlight this one, you'll see I'll have a Facebook module, Instagram, Twitter, and email. I can change the spacing. I can display icon and text. So you'll see the Facebook right there. I can display text. I suggest the icon and text is much more helpful. The alignment's right there. The font style's right here. For example, you want to put it in pack. Much more better, right? So the thing here is, if you click on edit right there, you can add any URL. For example, I'm now managing or utilizing Facebook. For example, just for fun or just for discussion purposes, I'm going to put YouTube link here. Like so. And now, that Facebook logo will now go to my YouTube link. However, you'll see that HubSpot detected that this is an invalid external URL because this is YouTube and not Facebook. Let's try doing Facebook for this one. I think this will work now. Open link in a new window. And let's see how it works now. I think we need a real Facebook account. So I'm gonna get a Facebook URL now to make this work. Give me a moment. So welcome back to the video. So I got a URL right here. Let me paste it. So the one earlier, that's why it's not working properly. We're directly giving the URL of Facebook. So it needs an exact account. So there's the username I added. And right now it's being accepted. So next up, you can use it for styles. For example, again, the visibility, alignment, and typography are right there. So I'll remove it over here. And by the way, guys, you notice there is no save option on the tools on the left side because everything here is auto save. Now that is the module for you. Let's try using the Instagram now. Just for discussion purposes, let me just open it. Of course, that URL right there. Now, here's what I'm saying earlier. You can add Facebook even though it's an Instagram. That's how funny it is, right? But don't do this. Of course, use an Instagram URL. I'm just doing this just for discussion purposes. So I want to do this right now. Give me a second here. I want to show you this one. You can realign them. For example, you want to put Facebook at the bottom of Twitter with no problem at all. And it will react real time. For example, the email. I want to pull it up at the very first. And on my page right there, email is going to be transferred on the first option with no problem at all. Now let's have fun with this one. For example, on this option right there, I want to delete this one. But before deleting it, if you click on this module right there, you can choose what action button you want to create from. So since I don't have a form just yet, you can choose a form here and add it right there with no problem at all. Now, for example, I want to delete this section right here. I simply click on that trash icon right there and you don't have a section over here. Also, you can style the section over there. It, just, it doesn't mean that you can only style the ones inside the section. The entire section can also be styled, adjust the visibility, the background, 
For example, you want some colors right there. Add some colors. Put a red. No problem at all. Again, guys, changing the photo right there is not a problem. Let me just choose this one just for discussion purposes. I think I misclicked it. Give me a second. There we have it. It just loaded up. Sorry about that. So anyway, you can choose automatically adjust or extract with hide and weed. However, with this one, I'm satisfied with it as of now. And that being said, let's just say right now I'm satisfied with what I have. I can check mobile view right there on how it looks like. So once you're satisfied with what you have right here, make sure you click on publish. But since I'm having an error, it will tell me what I'm missing. I'm missing page title, I'm missing content from my temporary content slug. So click on page title, and then add a page title right there. I'm going to put sample. And there we have it. We have our meta. With this one, it will be discussed on a different um, video. So we won't focus on this one as of now. But you can use Content AI Assistant to generate your meta. Anyway, I think I'm good with this. I can publish right there, like so, with no problem at all. So with that being said, your content is now published, sharing it URL below. You can add domain if you have your custom domain. But for this, here's our URL. You can copy this one and send it to your friends. That being said, you've just created your very own landing page in HubSpot. So thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Goodbye for now.